Welcome to This Is My Code. My name is Gerardo, and I'm joined today by Tu Wan from Car Sales. Welcome, Tu Wan. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about what Car Sales is and what you do at Car Sales? Car Sales is an online, leading online automotive classifier company. So I'm actually involved in building a global publishing platform at the moment for Car Sales. That's great. So can you tell me a bit about that global publishing platform? What, what, is it, what does it contain? So the global publishing platform actually um, utilizes a lot of the AWS uh, um, event-driven architecture. Um, so it's uh, using DynamoDB, DynamoDB streams uh, along with Lambda function. That's awesome, awesome to hear. So can you tell me a little bit about the publishing component of that global publishing platform? Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, this um, essentially when the user actually publish a, uh, a put an ad uh, or vehicle onto our website, um, we actually text the message is actually pushed into our um, uh, uh, API. The mm -hmm. API will actually write this message into uh, write this message into our DynamoDB tables mm -hmm. that actually triggers our Lambda function. And what is that Lambda function doing? So that Lambda function is actually uh, uh, pushing the changes onto um, um, onto our RabbitMQ, mm -hmm. so the other system can actually consume that. Uh, for further processing. Oh, fantastic. So that's like a proper distributed applications with queuing mechanisms between them. That's good to hear. So uh, can, is this a Lambda function that is gets triggered every time that record changes in yes, Dynamo? Yes, that's correct. Awesome. Can you walk me through it? Yeah, sure. Um, well, this uh, Lambda function is actually written in um, .NET Core 2.1. Mm -hmm. So the first section of the uh, code is very much self-explanatory. So it actually loads the configurations of a different environment. Mm -hmm. um, the second part of the code is um, uh, particularly the, the config services. This actually um, register um, publishing service through our um, dependency injections. Mm -hmm. um, the, but the bulk of the work are within the for loop here. Um, so um, this for loop basically iterate through a list of uh, record that's been, uh, that sits in the stream. Mm -hmm. um, it takes the message out of the, um, of the stream. Yeah. Then it will basically convert it into our data uh, item object, which we uh, allow us to actually process internally. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to convert that item uh, into our internal structure, mm -hmm. then eventually publish that onto our RabbitMQ. So this is great. So it seems like you're doing a lot in this Lambda function, collecting, you're processing, and then publishing to RabbitMQ. Now, one of the challenges with event-driven architectures is how to handle failure. So if any of the components fail in your event-driven architecture, how do you make sure that it's not impacting the reliability of the overall system? So in this example, how do you make sure that vehicle information is not being lost if something within this Lambda function fails? Uh, that's a great question. Um, so if within these Lambda functions, um, if the message is not being consumed mm -hmm. um, and not being acknowledged, and if the exception ever occur, it will actually put that message back onto the queue so that it can reprocess it um, next time around. Great. So basically, you're consuming, it seems you're consuming the stream here. That's right. And you're only acknowledging that consumption at the end of the publishing method, is that right? That's correct, yes. So it means that any failure within that is basically going to re-trigger your Lambda function. That's correct. It's yes. good to hear. This is a good, really good implementation. So this is actually pretty modern, a pretty modern way of building applications. So what are the benefits of using event-driven architectures as opposed to building systems in the traditional way? Uh, well, one thing is uh, with AWS, uh, Lambda um, event-driven architecture is, is fast. Mm -hmm. It's uh, highly scalable and um, also it's uh, fully managed. So there's no in infrastructure required at all. And you, you, as you can see, we're running a very uh, minimal code to get things uh, you know, uh, up to scratch. Yeah, it's, it's great to hear from customers like Cartels on how you are implementing really modern architectures using distributed systems, communicating via message brokers, uh, and keeping your focus on improving the customer experience as you expand your business. Thank you very much for joining us today, Tuan. Thank you. 
and thank you for watching. See you next time. This is my code.